Wind sweeps in from the plains. It sows through the branches of the stubby trees. Snow falls lightly on the rooftop. The chores of the day are done. The animals have been fed and put to their rest. And there is no busyness in the streets. And I lie down alone on my simple straw-filled mat, frayed burlap edges rubbing my skin. Starlight floods and gently illuminates the place where my wife would have rested. She's been gone for over a year now. There are no guests at my inn. The four extra rooms have not been occupied in a lifetime. Few strangers come to these parts anymore. My children, now grown, visit only sometimes. Mostly, it feels lonely. I am left to the rhythm of work, thoughts, and memories. God, there was a time when it was so busy, when the inn was just so busy, I couldn't keep up. Three kids underfoot, rooms occupied most nights, my wife cooking for them and for us, me needing to take care of the guests and the animals. I'm not sure how we did it. Those nights, I felt like I could steal only a few hours of sleep these nights. These nights I get as much sleep as I wish. The stars, the stars, light pouring in through the window, and me drifting to sleep. My thoughts do these strange things. Sometimes they drift to the lives of the people who visited our inn. Many were itinerants and single men traveling to find work. They had no coin, and so I gave them hard tasks in exchange for a bed and a warm meal. I tried to be hospitable, kind. I did. I remembered the stories told to me when I was but a little one, stories from Torah, the one of the man who entertained two ordinary travelers, strangers, at the end of their visit, they dropped their skin like a robe and revealed in a flash of light their true angelic form. That story needled me. It made me hesitant ever to turn anyone away. And I didn't turn anyone away. Or did I? God, I cannot sleep tonight. My thoughts go back all of those years. There was that one night, that poor couple visiting to register for a census, I think. There were so many passing through on those days. Most nights the inn was packed, but we always made room, always made room, except that one night. I thought about sleeping in the barn and giving the poor, weary couple a room. My wife and kids were visiting her parents anyway, and I could have done it. I could have done that. I could have given them my room, but I didn't. The old story of the angel and the strangers came to mind, but I pushed it away. I said there was no vacancy, that there was no room at the inn, and I sent that man and his wife to the barn, that poor woman, Mary, was it, laying heavy with child in the straw. Strange dreams troubled me that night. All these years later, I've not forgotten them. A treasure buried in a field, a great banquet, 
Water that spills from the pitcher and turns into wine. A star that burns brighter than all the rest. I woke that night clutching my chest. A deep knowledge, a conviction had shaken me awake. I would not taste that wine, nor sit at the banquet, nor find the treasure. The star's light burns out before it reaches my retina. Something I had done. No, it was something I didn't do, and now it was too late. God, that was a million years ago, a lifetime ago, and yet it feels like it was just yesterday. I am drifting. I am drifting. God, have mercy on me. Life goes so fast, and my thoughts are so strange tonight. Did I miss a miracle folded into the daily chores of the inn? Did I fail to see an angel who was mixed in with the strangers? Did the lowly animals in the barn get closer to the holy one than I did? I am drifting, drifting, lost. How could I have known? No, I should have known. I missed them. I missed them. There was the Holy One in with those strangers. There in the strangers, I could have helped but turned away. That's where the Holy One was. The stranger is always so easy to help but so easy to turn away. I told them that there was no vacancy, no room at the inn. But now I am the one who feels the vacancy. Oh God, I wish these thoughts could spill out as warning, as hope in some future moment and some future night to some strangers I do not know. Do not miss the stranger. Do not tell the stranger there is no room. You might very well miss the Holy One. <laughs>